B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I want A plus B. 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 so much fun. Best education for you and everyone. So come along. Learn some grammar. Hey. Learn a phrase. Learn something new every day. Learn the A plus away. Hello everyone, welcome to A Plus English. I am Darius. I'm Chickling. So today we're going to be talking about animals or pets. Oh yeah. So Chickling, uh, what kind of, do you have a pet? I don't. So I used to back in college. What kind of pet was it? It was a cat named Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> it's a she, but a girl John. cat named Johnny. Yes. <laughs> was Johnny a nice cat? No. Oh. Um, but I still loved her. But then I gave it away to a friend, um, a friend, and she's taking care of the cat for me. Oh, so the cat's still around. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, but that's yeah, nice. but because I have to move here, so I can uh, keep on taking care of her. Well, that's good. At least you passed her off to someone who would right. take care of her. Mm-hmm. Do so you have a pet? Mm -hmm. I, mm, I have fish, okay. and. Aquatic shrimp, like okay. shrimp that live in the water. <laughs> okay, strange. Um, mm -hmm. Do plants count as pets? Well, maybe. Yeah, I guess you have to it, give mm -hmm. them water and mm -hmm. take care of them, mm -hmm. or they will die. So that's they have lives. So yeah, I, I but guess. Honestly, mm -hmm. I would prefer to have a dog. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So My favorite dog would be a. a Bernese Mountain Dog. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of those? Yes, I think I've saw. I've seen pictures of them. Yeah, they're like so uh, mm -hmm. black, white, and brown, and mm -hmm. they get quite big. Uh, but that would be my dream dog. But right now, I don't have the space or the time to take mm -hmm. care of a dog. Right, I understand. You know, as you grow older, and then you want to take care of them, but you don't. We don't have any time. Exactly. Right. Maybe <laughs> in the future, we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. So today, we're going to be talking about Felix and Tina, and they're going to be talking about pets. So let's check out the article. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. What about you? I have a cat. His name is Cowboy. What do you like about cats? They clean themselves and they can stay inside. True. You don't need to take them for walks. Cowboy also hunts bugs in my very small apartment. Yes. Cats don't need a lot of space, and Cowboy likes to cuddle in my lap and purr. He sounds like a sweet cat. He often is, but sometimes he just wants to be alone. So Cowboy is quite independent. Right, he doesn't always need attention.、Oh, yeah. Clean, clean. Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets and throwing out the garbage. Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets and throwing out the garbage. Space, space. There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. Sweet, sweet. Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Independent, independent. Beatrice. Is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. Beatrice is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. 认识智慧 Cuddle, lap, purr. So we begin our article with Felix asking, "Do you have any pets?" 
啊、哦，所以 Felix 一开始就问喽，你有养任何的宠物吗？我们这边用 do 是因为搭配的字是 you。那么如果你有养呢，你就要回答 yes I do。没有就是 no I don't。但千万不要说 yes I have， 因为这个是台湾人最喜欢犯的错误。And do you like chocolate? Yes I yes yes I like。哦，不行，你要说 yes I do instead of um yes I like。这个是不行，除非你把整句讲出来。那如果你讲了整句就是 yes I have a cat。那么，如果今天换成第三人称单词 he or she， 就会变成 Does he or she have any pets？ 那如果有，就是 Yes he does， or Yes she does， or No he or she doesn't。Say Yes he or she has a cat。So Tina responds Yes， I have a dog。What about you？ Oh， a dog。所以我们今天看狗嘛，所以 Tina 说她有一只狗。那么你呢？ Felix says I have a cat。His name is Cowboy。Ah,、uh, so Felix 就养了一只猫哦，那名字叫做 Cowboy. That's an interesting name. I know. <laughs> so I suppose that it's a he. I would guess so, but、okay. then again, you have Johnny. Oh right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Tina says, "What do you like about cats?" 好，所以 Tina 就问了，你喜欢猫的什么地方呢 ？Felix answers, "They clean themselves and they can stay inside." So in that sentence, we have our first word power: clean. It is a verb. C L E A N, clean. Let's check out the meaning. Clean can be used as an adjective, verb, adverb, and even a noun. Here in the article, however, we use it as a verb. This means to remove or take away unwanted marks like dirt or something that makes a place look messy. An example sentence: Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets and throwing out the garbage. Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets and throwing out the garbage. 好，所以 clean 就是一个动词，在我们文章中。那像老师刚刚讲，它可以当很多词性，不过在文章中是当动词，有清理、清洁的意思。所以打扫、清理啊，你可以说 to clean up something， 它是一个片语。譬如说 ，We should have cleaned up the kitchen. 我们应该大扫除我们的厨房。那么呢，如果是当名词，你可以说 ，We should give the kitchen a clean up. 好，那么老师刚刚提到 clean 也是可以当嗯、um, 形容词的、哦，有干净的意思。比如说啊 ，hospital rooms have to be kept clean， 医院的房间呢必须给呃必须保持清洁。And we can also say um somebody has clean hands， and that、uh, means that person has never been involved in an illegal activity， 他没有做过任何的一些坏事，你就可以说哦，他有一个干净的手。比如说 ，I have clean hands. I had nothing to do with the robbery. <笑>我是清白的，我跟那个抢劫案一点关系都没有。好，那我们回到课文例句。所以 Lisa 呢，借由洗毯子跟丢垃圾来打扫她的房间。那么我们的课文就说了 ，Felix 他觉得说猫咪会自行的清理自己，也可以待在外面。那这边 clean themselves 是反身代名词，他们清理自己。So I think it's a good thing that cats clean themselves, but maybe you've experienced this. They also cough up hairballs. Oh yes,、right? once in a while. Yeah, because they have... lick themselves, so they eat the hair.、Mm -hmm. But then it. You have to feed them like a kind of medicine, so. And they won't do it. And they will throw it out, throw up. Oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they still throw up. <laughs> so yeah, it's, they still cause some trouble.、Mm, yeah. But they're lovely, <laughs> lovely trouble. <laughs> So Tina says, "True, you don't need to take them for walks." Oh, okay. So you take them for walks. 这边就是带他们出去散步。那这边的 walk 当名词哦，是散步的意思。比如说 ，He goes for a walk every evening. 他每天傍晚都去散步。那么 Tina 就说了，哎，真的耶，你就不用，你就可以不用带他们出去散步。Like dog, you have to walk dogs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Every day. <laughs> But that's a good thing. You also get exercise. Mm-hmm. Felix says. Cowboy also hunts bugs in my very small apartment. Okay, so we see um, he, this, this cowboy, he can do other things, right? Not just that, he can do what? He can do in Felix's small apartment to catch bugs. That's interesting. I didn't know that cats would. Did your cat? No.、Mm. Well, I think, I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that kind of thing. I think he doesn't really like that <laughs> It's it's a little gross, but yeah. I guess they have to ha find something to entertain themselves、mm -hmm. or have fun.、Mm -hmm. So in the article, Tina says, "Yes, cats don't need a lot of space." And in that sentence, we have our second word power: space. It is a noun: s p a c e, space. Let's look at the meaning. 
The space used here in the article is not to be confused with outer space, the area outside of Earth where the planets, sun, and other stars are. This space means an area that does not have anything there. It is empty. If something takes up space, this means it is filling up that area. An example sentence: There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. 好，那 space 这边是名词，是空间的意思。那么我们常常看到 a parking space， 它就是停车格，因为是空间嘛，所以停车的空间。那么外太空呢，你就可以说 outer space。所以太空旅行呢，也可以说 space travel。所以如果一个东西占太多的空间，你就可以说 take up too much or a lot of space。比如说。Please take the table outside. It takes up too much space in our living room. 好，就是把书桌，请把桌子拿出去，因为我们的客厅没有位置了。那么我们看一下课文的例句。我的书桌上没有很多空间，因为我有很多书。那么回到课文 ，Tina 就说了，真的，猫咪不需要太多的空间。So we know that cats they don't need a lot of space.、Mm -hmm. Very easy to take care of.、Mm -hmm. So Felix says, and cowboy likes to cuddle in my lap and purr. Okay, so we have this word over here, cuddle. So to cuddle means to snuggle, and we usually say cuddle up, 就是去搂抱依偎。那如果是跟别人一起 cuddle 搂抱在一起，可以说 to cuddle with somebody. 那么 lap 老师刚刚说是 like 大腿的前部，你的膝盖上面的部分。那么 purr, you know, <laughs> and when you purr, that means you make a quiet, <laughs> continuous, and soft sound. And cats usually do that when they feel good.、Mm -hmm. 就是咕噜咕噜。就是<笑> ，Sorry, I was trying to sound like a cat. Okay, so cowboy 喜欢干嘛？依偎在 Felix 的大腿上面，然后就 purring. Okay, <笑> that was a good purr, though. Really? <笑> kind of. <笑> so Tina says he sounds like a sweet cat. That is our third word power, sweet. It's an adjective, S W E E T, sweet. Let's see what this word means. So we have the word power, sweet. Usually use this word to describe things like candy or desserts, meaning to describe the flavor. But it can also be used to say that something or someone is very kind and nice. An example sentence: Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Okay, so sweet 就是一个形容词，它是和蔼可亲的、温柔的意思。那我们口语上很常用 sweet 来形容美好的事物，譬如说 ，You two make a sweet couple. 你们两个太登对了。我们真的是什么东西都说 sweet. That's so sweet. That's so sweet of you. 所以如果有人赞美你的话，你想要回复他，你人真好，嘴巴真甜，你都是可以用 sweet 这一个字。或者是你跟人家说晚安啊，祝贺人家有个美梦，你也可以说 sweet dreams. 那么一样 ，sweet 也可以直接当很甜的意思。譬如说 ，the soup is too sweet for me. 这个汤对我来说太甜了。So if somebody has a sweet tooth, that means they like desserts very much. 所以你可以说 sweet， 那它其实可以当名词啦。Sweet， 如果你后面加一个 s， 也是可以当甜点。所以代表很喜欢甜食的人哦。譬如说 ，Jen has a sweet tooth. She eats a brownie every single day. Wow, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the past. Yeah, in the past. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Carl Lee just said, "Carl is a very kind and warm person. He treats everyone very well." So, our text says, "Tina said, 'Hmm, cowboy sounds like a very kind and warm dog.'" So, would you describe Johnny, your previous cat, as sweet? Yes, yes. 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 I know cats do that all the time. And me, me too. <laughs> really? So you're a cat? <laughs> kind of. Like I like people, but also I like to be alone sometimes. <laughs> yeah, right. I understand. Okay, so we can say often. So often, it's you. Some people say often, but I myself say often. Can you mean like a lot of British people pronounce this word as often? Then we can say often. Yes, often is often. Often is often. Yes, 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 often Mm, 从来没有，很少就是 seldom。那么排序呢的顺序可以 always, usually, often, sometimes, seldom, and never。好，所以 Felix 就说了，哎、欸， cowboy 时常都是很亲切的，不过有时候他会想要独处。
So Tina asks, so cowboy is quite independent. And there we have our fourth, our fourth word power,、mm -hmm. independent. It's an adjective, I N D E P E N D E N T, independent. Let's check out the meaning. When we say that something or someone is independent, we are saying that that thing or person does not need anything to live or to be happy. They are able to do things on their own and without the help of anyone else or anything else. An example sentence. Beatrice is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. Beatrice is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. So Tina 就问说喽，嗯，那么 cowboy 是个很独立的猫咪吗？那么 independent 这边是形容词，是独立的意思。那么一样哦，你如果把 I N 拿掉，变 dependent。它就是依赖的，就会变成形容词哦。那后面会加上一个 on or upon。譬如说 ，the taste of wine is largely dependent on the weather。那么你也可以改成 depend， depend on something， 变成一个动词，一个 phrasal verb， 变成依赖或取决于的意思。那改写上面的句子就可以变成 the taste of wine largely depends on the weather。那么独立的名词就是 independence。那我们回答课文例句 ，Beatrice 是一个很独立的人哦，她很少向他人寻求帮助。So do you consider yourself to be an independent person? Yes, I am, because I live in Taipei alone. Same. <laughs> <laughs> you are definitely. I mean, you travel around and、exactly. all by yourself. If I were a dependent person, it would be a little bit harder for me to travel around to be、right. in different places. Right, right. So yeah, definitely need to be independent, but not always to、mm -hmm. travel to different places.、Mm -hmm. So we continue with the article with Felix saying, "Right, he doesn't always need attention." Uh, so Felix said, 对了，但他。并并不是一直都需要关注。这边的 always 就是总是跟一直。But let's go to our magic box first, and then we'll be back to our review time. Magic box, 找亮点。Hello， 大家好，我是 Isaac。那今天呢，要来跟大家分享一个前几天有一件让我非常惊艳的事情，就是前几天下班之后啊，我跟朋友们我们到西门町去逛街吃晚餐，结果你们知道吗？我在街上发现一位老爷爷牵着他饲养的宠物小猪在散步、欸。哎 ，I found an old man taking his small pig for a walk down the street。远远一看，我以为是一只腊肠狗，结果仔细一看，我才发现它是一只小猪、欸。而且老爷爷还帮他就是穿衣服，好好打扮了一番。看到他那么 cute 的样子啊、哦，我跟我朋友我们都直接融化在就是路上。那而在我刚刚所讲的例句当中呢，我们提到了一个片语，好，那就是 take somebody or something for a walk， 带着某人或者是某动物散步的意思。那这边的 walk 呢，跟我们一般所熟知当做动词、当做走路的用法是不一样的哦。在这边它当做名词来使用，代表的是步行的意思。那我们可以用它呢来造一个句子。My school is only a five minutes walk from the station. 我们车站跟学校大概是约步行五分钟的距离。那当然，除了刚刚我们所说的这个片语 take somebody or something for a walk 这个片语之外呢，其实我们也可以用 take somebody or something for a stroll。代表的意思也是一样的哦。那这边这个 stroll 呢，当做名词来使用，可以解释为散步的意思。那 stroll 的拼法呢是 s t r o l l， 那它的意思是散步或者是闲逛的意思。所以刚刚那句话呢，其实我也可以说 ，I found an old man taking his small pig for a stroll down the street. 散步呢，除了这两种说法之外呢，其实我们也可以常用，还有另外一个用法，就是 go for a walk。那特别注意，这个片语的主词呢，通常都是要人来当做主词。那我们来造一个例句吧。I go for a walk around the park to get some fresh air。那我绕着公园散步呢，来呼吸一些新鲜空气。那最后我来考考大家，如果我要说我每天都会带我的狗去散步，那这句话的英文该怎么说呢？ The answer is I take my dog for a walk every day, or I take my dog for a stroll every day. 你答对了吗 ？Wait for it! It's review time. 复习时间到喽 ！All right, so welcome back to review time. We're going to review the words we just learned: clean, space, sweet, and independent. 
So we're going to do fill in the blank. Okay. I'm going to say a sentence and leave one of our word power words、mm -hmm. out of the sentence, and you need to figure out which word would best complete that sentence. Okay. Let's do it together. Okay. I'll make the first one kind of easy. Okay. My mom says if I don't blank my room, I cannot go to the park. It's like when you said my mom, I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. Okay, so my mom. I forgot the whole sentence, but you said my mom and then、right. blank something. But、If、you、I、don't, don't do that. If I don't blank my room. Oh, okay. So your room、mm -hmm. must be in a mess. So you have to do something with it, right?、Mm -hmm. So if your room is in a mess, we have to <sighs> clean it. Exactly. So it's the vocabulary word clean. Exactly. So in order to make sure that I can go to the park, I have to clean my room、okay. using the verb clean. <laughs> All right. So our next one.、Hmm. Okay. You ready? Yes. All right. Your grandmother is very blank. She always gives me cookies. And then when you said your grandmother, I knew the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, grandmother. I know. Okay.、Mm. I like cookies, so if somebody gives me cookies, that person is very nice.、Mm -hmm. So if you're nice, what other words do we have here? Space, independent, and and then the one that I just chose, right? Yep. Okay. So your grandmother, if she gives you cookies, that doesn't make her independent. No. So <laughs> <laughs> she'd keep them all for herself. Okay. So she's nice. So I guess it's sweet. Exactly. <laughs> so your grandmother is very nice and willing to share. So that would make her a sweet grandmother. Yay! Not an independent one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So why don't you take some time at home、uh, to practice the rest of those words? And until day two, I'm Darius. I'm Chickling. See you next time. Bye. Are you a cat person or a dog person? Do you have any pets? Yes, I have a dog. What about you? I have a cat. His name is Cowboy. What do you like about cats? They clean themselves and they can stay inside. True. You don't need to take them for walks. Cowboy also hunts bugs in my very small apartment. Yes, cats don't need a lot of space. And Cowboy likes to cuddle in my lap and purr. He sounds like a sweet cat. He often is, but sometimes he just wants to be alone. So cowboy is quite independent. Right, he doesn't always need attention.、Oh, yeah. Word power. Clean. Clean. Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets. And throwing out the garbage, Lisa cleans her room by washing the blankets and throwing out the garbage. Space, space. There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. There isn't a lot of space on my desk because I have many books. Sweet. Sweet. Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Carl is a sweet boy. He is nice to everyone. Independent, independent. Beatrice is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. Beatrice is an independent person. She seldom asks other people for help. 认识智慧 Cuddle, lap, purr.